Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today, we're gonna to take a look at my LS Swapped 1973 Buick Electra. All right, so I've never really done a full video on this car. Um, I bought this car, I picked it up out of uh, Tempe, Arizona, I don't know, somewhere by Phoenix, Arizona. Drove down there, picked it up, drove it home, and uh, it made it back. We only had one little hiccup. We blew the upper radiator hose because the fan shroud was eaten up a little bit, and it nicked the, the fan. And luckily, I had a bunch of parts for one of these, so uh, we fixed it up, made it home. Anyways, got it back. The motor was tired. It was an Arizona car. The interior was you know arizona car our cracks in the dash seats were tore up anyways so we pulled the 455 out i bought a 2002 cadillac escalade with a six liter and we dropped it in i used a psi conversion harness and computer it's pretty much just the computer's just bass tuned and it runs pretty much just like the Escalade did it it runs great um I got some eBay headers eBay low pro oil pan um bunch of little block off plates here and there um I think I did like dirty dingo motor mounts um I had to do an adapter plate to adapt it to the stock turbo 400 and actually this is a turbo 400 out of a 1971 Buick um which is also the same my 55 buick has a 1971 turbo 400 anyways so yeah here it is it was already painted black ls swap turbo 400 um stock transmission cross member stock drive line stock rear axle i did an air motive intake pump the 73 buick gas tanks um are baffled so i did the intake air motive pump on it and it worked out great um so anyways take a little look inside here these seats are out of the 1971 buick electra so they do not fold forward which i don't like i have the original seat for this and like i said it was an arizona car this dash is also out of or no this dash what is this oh this dash came out of another car it's in pretty good shape but I have another, I have two dashes. This dash that came out of the 71, not one crack. I mean, amazing. Here's the trunk. The back window leaks on this car. So not, not, a, not very much rust. I mean, there's rust around the back window. Little bubbles in the trunk. Oh, that's locked. So yeah, anyways, we're going to throw a battery in this i got right now i stripped out the battery hold down bolt so i got a wrench pounded on there we're gonna get a battery plopped in this thing take you guys up i'm gonna wash it and we're gonna go for a little test drive go do some burnouts see what this thing can do and then my plan is to finish the 55 buick and with the 455 i'm gonna weigh both cars they have the same transmission same gear gears in the rear um but this has a ls that has a 455 we'll see what they weigh and then i think we're gonna take these guys and uh put them against each other see which one has more power so anyways yeah i'm gonna take this up wash it and then we'll uh we'll go for a little drive supposed to be a half inch I think I just pounded a 12 millimeter into it but it worked yeah. 
pretty uh, smoky out here. I think there was a fire a couple counties up. Not good. Really hot, really dry. One of my boys up and have them come up wash this thing it's dirty it hasn't ran for a couple months i think i changed the oil right right before it got hard oh, all right i got it out cool now hopefully when the battery gets charged we can throw a battery in this thing Get a new bolt. Alright, back with the battery, new bolt. Yeah, this battery, I'm not sure if this battery is even charged. stinking wrench. Okay. Please have a charge. What do we got? Got a little juice at least. Please be enough to start. I do need a wrench for this, and I don't have the right size, so. Starts up. Oh, uh, that doesn't sound good. Not a lot of noise. I guess we'll get another battery out of another car. Bear with me, folks. Probably should have put this on the charger last night. Yeah, I know, I know.
also, I haven't ever named this car. So, sometimes we call it Big Black. I don't know. I don't know. If you guys can think of a name for this thing, let me know. Comment down below. So I got this eBay special dealio Android with the torque app. And this thing's a piece of junk. It's half the time the screen don't work. It's like you got moisture in it, but it does work. I have coolant temp, tack, throttle, vacuum. My speedometer did work, is hooked up. I have one of the little speedo things on my tranny. It doesn't read right. I got vacuum, I don't know. There's other stuff. I have oil pressure over here. These things just have the dummy oil lights. Anyways, we're gonna go up and wash it. I won't make you guys sit through that and then we'll go for a little drive. side skirts off every time I wash it so you can get all the dirt and crud out of there try to keep them from rusting up you get a lot of dust and dirt up here loaded up here in the Buick. We're gonna, we gotta run to town and grab some stuff for football practice tonight for the little man. So we'll take you guys for a little drive, maybe do some burnouts, maybe do some donuts. I don't know, we'll see. Try, to, uh, try not to get uh, arrested. like a dirty shirt my dad used to say that to me so this car yeah stock gears turbo 400 stock six liter still kind of drives like it originally did but better throttle response a little more power not as much torque and for how big and heavy this car is it's actually pretty nimble My speedo still works.
195, sometimes 200 sitting in traffic, but that second fan kicks on and cools it right down. I'm actually pretty impressed with the eBay radiator. I got bad brakes too, squeaky brakes. So yeah, driving through traffic, thing does great. How much does your fit cost? Drove on the highway, drives great on the highway. Thing gets pretty good mileage too. Swap Buick. I think eventually I'm gonna either turbo or supercharge this. I haven't really decided yet. But yeah, that's it. I can hear my power steering whining. It must be low. I don't know why. This thing also needs brakes really bad. So if you guys like the video, uh, hit it, hit the thumbs up, and uh, also let me know in the comments if you come up with a name. So, yeah, thank you. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching Dirty Curdy's Customs.